What up everybody, it's your boy Young Fizz and welcome back to another tutorial. Today, I'm gonna quickly show you guys step mode. There's really not much to it, but I'm gonna show you guys the way I use it to program. Mainly dance music is what I use it for. So hope this tutorial is beneficial and let's go ahead and get to programming. Okay, so the first thing I went ahead and did was loaded up a kick and a clap here. Next thing you wanna do, go ahead and do is hit step mode. And then if you notice at the top of the screen here, there's a few buttons. It says, uh, I'm using the Machina Studio controller here. So it says step mode and it has double, fixed velocity and follow. Um, you may wanna pay attention to fixed velocity and follow. Uh, fixed velocity, of course, is just what it is. Um, when you're programming dance music or when I do it, I like to have it at a fixed velocity. You know, that, that kick and that clap, you know, at 127% or 100%, whatever value you like to have it at. And then the other thing here is a follow. So I personally like to have it off. Um, some people like to have it on, you know, when you're basically when you're playing the beat and you hit follow, there's a box that has each region and the box kind of follows the pattern. So you can quickly um, program it. But, but I like to kind of hear what I'm doing as I'm programming. So I like to have that off. So the next thing I'll go ahead and do is select my kick. I know that, you know, like I said, it's dance music. So it's going to be boom, 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 boom. So I'll go ahead and turn the sixth knob here and I'll make sure I'm on quadrant one here. Hit my pads, next quadrant. All right, so I got the beat going. Go ahead and select the clap. I know the clap is gonna be the two and the four. Make sure I'm back on quadrant number one here, the box. So hit two and four. Perfect. So let's hear that. All right, that's sounding pretty dope. I like the way that sounds. All right, and then also while you're in step mode, there's other little features here. So say for example, if you had an 808, you want to change the length of that 808, you can simply do that by turning this knob here. Um, if you want to change the pitch, you can turn it there. Or if you want to change the position of the note, you're more than welcome to do that. And then to do the fine tune, of course, you would have to hit shift and then you would just rotate the knob so it slowly uh, adjusts there. And that's pretty much step mode. I hope this uh, tutorial was beneficial for you guys. Um, please leave your comments down below. If you have any questions, be sure to ask me. I read all the comments and I get back to people as soon as possible. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. We'll see you next time. It's your boy Young Fizz. Make sure you smash that subscribe button.